Hey, welcome replay viewers. Yeah, this is uh, Markham Museum in Markham, Ontario, Canada. And everything is closed. It's on our first day of lockdown, stay at home order. Um, I'm sort of a second line essential service worker, you know, the people that bring your groceries, food to you. So I have to get my vehicle serviced. So that's what I am doing. Anyway, uh, since I'm waiting, I don't want to wait inside the service station. I'm at the museum. Of course, it's closed. And what this museum is, if you can see, it is... Ooh, I should be... It is a museum. Uh, what they do is they take the old houses that used to be in this uh, city uh, called Markham, and they put them, they pick them up, and they bring them here to this museum. I've never been in this museum. <laughs> I should uh, for just to to see what's going on. Oh, uh, very good picture of my hand. Uh, you know, very good uh, um, haps person. I'm sort of new to this, so uh, just please bear with me. I am putting on a uh, so you can get to see. Da -da -da. There we go. better, and uh, there's no people watching, so we go see what's going on here. So there it is. Uh, and so they bring the houses into here, and uh, there's some history behind it, of course. Uh, that's it. This is supposed to be a picnic area, but they can't uh, do it. Uh, there's nobody here, as I said. Um, so, we're, this is the main drag or the main street. Uh, of course, it's named Markham Road. <laughs> okay, uh, this is the main building. Uh, you would come in here, uh, get your tickets, and you would go on the grounds. But, like I said, we are on a full... Um, one of uh, a serial lockdown. So the governments here are doing a terrible job with the vaccine, with uh, with everything, and they're just lying to the public. But well, that's a that's a scope for another another day. So this is supposed to represent a barn raising. So we're gonna try to have a look at it. This uh, structure here. So it's here. So the top of it represents uh, raising a barn and everything else like that. Uh, so uh, that's it. See, this is the old structure. This is the place, like I said, where you enter. And there's some guy in a bicycle there in the window. Uh, see. An old bicycle. So of course it's closed, and there's a good old maple leaf, red and white. And stop. COVID protocols, and of course it's closed. So anyway, recycle. I guess this person's family paid a lot of money to get their name on this. They weren't here before. And here you have a free take a book, leave a book uh, library. So anybody wants to read, please can come take a book. It's a free library. And of course, we're at the Market Museum, as I said. Okay, so we're going to go and see what historical significance this place has. As you can see, nobody's here. It was a school bus driver, but he's gone. Or she's gone. The big yellow bus. And that's it. We're going to go. Uh, 
now you got to get closer to it. There's bushes here. See if you can see it on the other side. Usually the same. English or French. Okay, and we give you a little more time to read it. Uh, back up a bit. Early settlers in this part of Markham Township included several Pennsylvania and Dutch arrivals. So, so this is a city above Toronto called Markham. So, it's pretty modern. But so what they do to preserve this the buildings and the heritage they uh, pick it up by a truck these big houses we're gonna try to get in I don't know how to zoom on this yet if any if I can can I <laughs> uh, they take up these houses including this building <laughs> and they move it to this site so it's very uh, labor intensive. If you ever see them move a house, they have to take down the uh, lights, the light poles and everything. It's a big endeavor. And they bring all these old houses if they think it's a historical significance to this property. And they put it on here. And you can go see it. When it opens up, I will come in here. Like I said, I've never been in here before. So we'll come in and take a official tour. Yes, this is one of the grounds keepers. Or I'm assuming the truck is here. Or somebody's in the buildings. I think this might have been a schoolhouse at one point. They added on, I can see where they added on to it. And of course, it would be watched up the camp. Of course, there's cameras everywhere. So you can see the old, or maybe they're using it for construction. Old, and that's the new. Old, new. Old, new. So, there we go. Okay, so there's, I think, there's a house that's uh, been brought here. And they haven't restored it fully yet. So. Maybe there's ghosts in it and all this other stuff. So. Uh, so this must be somebody's house. And like you say, they will take it, they'll pick it up. It's all boarded up or anything like that. They put it on stilts now but they would shove uh, some steel beams onto the house and they would lift it up and they would carry it from wherever its location was to here then they'll try to restore it well not gonna try to they will restore it so you see they've got uh, these little things and shingles from going off the roof so there you go and uh, there's a little plane flying. I don't know if you can see that. Uh-huh. So that was my hand. And I'm trying to zoom. Which, that did not work for me. I uh, will get the hang of this eventually. So, so they braced it while they moved it so the house wouldn't fall apart. So then they moved it, and I guess that's with the hydro wires there, so they chopped it. 
the don't know who or what the significance of this house is, but I guess this will be its final place and then they'll restore it. So, like I said, this is a museum, of course, there's no entry because we're on a lockdown, stay-at-home order. But I'm a sort of second-line essential worker, so, oh, uh, there's a company vehicle in there, grounds, and everything is locked up. And as you can see, there's a restored house in there. And they manicure the property around it. And there's several houses and whatever. So that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, let's go to the kids' park. And uh, like I said, I've never, I've always driven past this place on this road. And I've never ever come into this place because um, I have no time uh, so but we'll make time during this pandemic and we'll come back and we'll see we'll just take a a walk around here if you guys are interested so uh, there's my finger again I know I want to make my finger a star okay so this is practicing. So let's see the rules of this park. No smoking, no alcohol, no littering. Uh, poop and scoop your dog. So either you poop and your dog scoops you, or you poop, or the dog, or the dog poops and you scoop it, or whatever. So poop and scoop your dog. And the park closes. Uh, 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. No persons or vehicles permitted. And City of Markham. Da 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 da. Anyway, uh, so now you see. Oh, maybe you can get get some stuff in the background. Ah, look at this. When I was a kid, uh, everybody saw wrist as a averted right now this it's nice and soft so if you fall you won't hurt yourself ah when i was a kid it just put sand in you 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 swang on these things and then you fell down and then you pick yourself up and go see legal always illegal legal legal so you know and that's it so if you fell you pick yourself up with the dust and you go on over there. But today is in today's society. We have bubble wrap kids. And tell me you don't believe that. What bubble wrap kids is that the kids is very, very, you're very protective of your kids. And, you know, they can't get hurt. So we used to have swimming pools. So what this is here, uh, now they're scared of kids getting drowned. So these little things here would shoot up water so the kids get to run into these things. Run and play in, in this so there's no water so they can't drown. Drown. There's nothing uh, really getting um, uh, water. Um, it's like collecting water so the kids can't drown because probably some kid got hurt. So now they have these run pads. So the parents would sit here and watch the kids run through these shooting uh, uh, things that shoot up water when it's off. Of course, with COVID, they're not operating. So, and then that says COVID 19 warning, maintain physical distance, blah, 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 blah. Stay home if you're sick. And again, if you jump on this, you really, it's like really soft and it, nobody will get hurt. So that's a modern playground. If you ever saw one or didn't want to see one. Oh, uh, we can go nature shopping or walking. Uh, we don't want to go nature shopping.
shopping. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to the major shopping, see what's around, and see what we can buy for free. I might get attacked. There's a bird's nest here. So we'll see if the bird is going to attack me. Uh, so. Dee -dee 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 -dee. See the bird's nest? Yeah. If it's anything there. So. This is, like I said, the city of Markham. It's north of north of Toronto. It sits above Toronto. And we're just going to walk down, maybe get a glimpse, a glimpse behind the... museum, if we can see some stuff here. And I think this is pretty much it. I'm going to have to go get my vehicle. We've got to change from summer tires to snow tires to, sorry, I said it backwards from, okay, let's take a little peek into the back of the museum. Oh, we can't see anything. Too much bushes. Okay, but well, this is the back of the museum. Okay, somebody says they received a notification that I'm on Periscope. Well, I guess it's not totally shut down. Okay, so this is kind of muddy. I'm going to regret walking on here. But we're going to go see the ducks. Oh, wait, my man gets attacked by ducks. So if I start to run, the ducks are very... It's mating... No, sorry, it's nesting time. And the ducks get really upset that you're close to their little saplings. So if I have, if you see me running, that means the duck attack, try to attack, attack man attacking duck. No, sorry, duck attacking man. So there we go. Okay. Uh, this is pretty cool. So we're here, and this is in a city. Ooh. I'm going, to, I'm going to take another peek and see if you can see the back of the museum. And ooh, a lot of garbage down here. Uh, see if we can get some. Wildlife. So, ooh, I'm going to have to clean my shoes when I go back up there. Ooh, this is like very... Ooh, duck poo! Ah! So, they're all running away from me. I did not know this was back here. Okay, so there's some duckies. Just watching I don't smack sit on duck poo. Let's see if we can get around us. Yeah, don't want to sink in the mud too much. So this is a beautiful sight. Everybody's away from me. Very peaceful. 
And then if you go above, you have all the houses and everything, the condos and everything else like that. The stores surrounding this place. And there's some animals running up and down there. I don't know. I wish I could find out how to zoom this. Anyway, so that's enough of that, and we're gonna take our leave. We're gonna take a little bit, eh, see if we're gonna be adventurous. <sighs> uh, nah, I'm not gonna be adventurous. Uh, what the heck? Let's be adventurous. I see a walking path, so let's see what we can check out at the museum from the back of the museum and as we climb through here ooh somebody was making a sleeping thing oh there's a shopping cart Looks like somebody was sleeping up there in the tree. Ah, uh, Macca Museum, we can't see too much. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of junk. Ah, forget it. We're gonna go back and go back to civilization. Anyway. So no ducks attacked, that's a good thing, or geese, Canada geese, you know, like Miracle on the Hudson, that's it. Where, so they can bring down an airplane and they get very protective, they chase people if you're, ooh, is that an egg or a ball, something. Okay, so we're making our way back up. This place needs to be cleaned up from the winter. People throw their garbage all over the place. Ah, I used to do that uh, before the pandemic. Every winter, I mean every spring, the kids would come out uh, as a school project and clean up little green spaces like this. But I don't know what's going to happen. Because we're into another lockdown again, as I said. Uh, it's very beautiful and peaceful back here. Okay. And so all your replay viewers can watch this. We're going back up. I can see the birds. Christmas tree or a pine. See, now that I move here, the birds are going back to the other side. Okay. That's it. Uh, 
Okay, so we've done this. I'll leave you. Uh, what will I leave you with? Huh? Uh, nobody's peed the garbage here. So we'll leave you with a picture. There's the back of this house that they moved to this location. So anyway, uh, we'll leave you with a shot of something that you remember, and thank you for watching, everybody, and thank you for coming along on my walk. I will do this um, a little bit more. It's kind of windy today, and uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, so, there's nobody here. Actually, I've never seen anybody here to this museum. Um, never seen some cars when I drive by, so I don't know the hours of how the museum. Uh, works. So we'll see what happens. So, like I said, I promise we'll go inside when it's open and uh, we'll take a shot, uh, see the houses, see what historical significance these houses had for this little, for this, well, not that little the city, for the city. And it's smaller than Toronto by population, but the area. Uh, the landmass there is huge. So we'll see what happens. So thank you for watching, uh, everybody. And uh, we'll see you guys around. And we'll join me for part two when the lockdown and all is over and the museum is open. We'll come in and go for a walk inside. So there we go. And I'll leave you with this as a shot.